Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I figure I'd share another project that I'm working on that I'm a little bit further along on. It's just basically a little fixed gantry CNC router. So this little guy, he's yet again made out of steel. This is all scrap steel I had laying around. Uh, mostly everything is just half inch steel, you know, that I cleaned up. Uh, the base of it is a piece of 10 inch C channel. The sides of it are actually half of an inch, but the top of it was really only about a quarter of an inch thick. So I welded in some three quarter inch plate uh, that I just cut down to a mm, little bit under three quarters of an inch. And then, you know, machined everything all, basically all at once on the top. So I had a somewhat you know planar surface I guess um, the little mounts for the steppers are actually I think that is two by four by quarter inch wall uh, square tubing I I'll show you on another one but I sort of made my own little mount set up for the lead screws and the steppers so to give these guys some dimensions on this little guy here it's a little bit over six and a half inches wide by about eh, 10 inches long uh, height wise right under 18 inches uh, so it's it's pretty small the little table itself it's about four and a half inches by a little bit over six inches as far as hardware on this guy uh, MGN 12 millimeter linear rails uh, eight millimeter lead screws that have the anti-backlash nuts uh, and NEMA 17 stepper motors. So on all the moving parts uh, I only used two carriages. There's two here, two sorta in behind for, for this part and then I have two stacked on top of each other for where the spindle is going to mount to ride up and down. As I mentioned earlier these are the little mounts that I made and basically it's just the NEMA 17 stepper uh, you know the sort of little custom mount I made just some little tack welds to hold it uh, of course a little coupler and then a little 8 millimeter uh, bearing block pillow block forget exactly the exact term and then the anti backlash nuts and it seems to work pretty well. For the spindle on this little guy, I have an ER11, uh, I guess it's a shank, shank extension, something along them lines. It's just a cheap Chinese one, but uh, shaft diameter is 12 millimeter. So I got a set of angular contact bearings. Uh, you know, of course, stack them up. And they actually fit on there eh, slightly loose I would like them to be a little bit tighter and then I just have a I think this is a deep groove radio ball bearing for the back of it uh, as far as material that this is gonna sit in and mount to there I'm not exactly sure yet I was thinking about using inch and a half um, solid square stock but around the bearing you know especially at the edges it's gonna be maybe three sixteenths of an inch uh, and I you know I, I just want a little bit thicker even a quarter inch I'd be all right maybe a little bit more but I haven't started on this yet but that's the plan he's gonna ride there I'm gonna do another video on the electronics for everything it's basically a pair of Arduinos one that just controls the steppers and it's actually gonna feed the spindle speed that I want to another Arduino which in return runs an ESC for a brushless DC motor and I have all that stuff but like I said I'll go over that in a different video so the one little problem I'm having that I've found building this and I still trying to get to the root cause of it I know on my linear rails I have basically about a thou and a half of a bow 
in pretty much all of these. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I can eliminate that because these sort of will bind a little bit. You know, it's either if you have the rails both sort of bowed this way or this way, it, it just, it, it's, it's binding and I don't like that. So I'm going to figure out the root cause of that and get it figured out. But I have hooked this up and uh, even with a little bit of binding in the rails, I mean, it moves and it moves pretty good. Once I get that figured out, I'm definitely going to make a video and just, just show you now how, how fast it will move. Uh, the other thing I want to touch base on as far as the table, I'm just going to drill holes, tap them, and uh, hopefully make some little fixtures. You know, I, I plan on really mainly engraving with this, and I know it's overbuilt for that. But, you know, I mean, I'm sure it could, I mean, I'm almost certain it's definitely going to be able to machine, you know, plastic and uh, maybe even some aluminum. We'll see. I don't know if the motor will have enough power, like enough torque to actually cut through aluminum. But, hey, it's, we'll see. If not, I'll upgrade the motor. But All right, guys, I think that wraps up little video on this machine I, I try to keep my video short because i know everyone doesn't want to watch you know 30 minutes 30 minute videos you know of uh talking about some type of simple subject but you know if anything i, I hope you guys you know maybe get some ideas uh you know maybe a different idea of something you want to build you know i i like the cnc stuff i think it's really neat and uh i'll spin this guy around just to sort of let you see all around it but uh with that guys if you like this video please uh like it uh you know subscribe uh, if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to leave me comments and i'll try to answer them but uh awesome guys thanks for watching